Geeks, Tim Tebbets here with MajorGeeks.com and let's take a look at Jet Queen, a very popular drive cleaning utility. I believe it's up there along with Sea Cleaner and Wise Disc Cleaner. Sea Cleaner tends to be more conservative, Wise Disc Cleaner goes in depth farther and now Jet Clean, which hadn't been updated in years and recently was here when I did this video uh, towards the end of February 2016, suddenly it's updated. And now this program is going to be a cleaner, but much, much more, more of an all-in-one utility if you want to get into it yourself. But if you want to drive cleaner, you can check or uncheck registry clean. Prefer you uncheck it, but you can go into your settings here and rescue, and you can always create a restore point, and you'll see that it's um, creating log files as you go so that you can always come back if you decide to clean your registry. I'm gonna skip it for now and just show you how she works. While it's scanning, it's going to go through everything it's set by default see cookies aren't set so you can actually come in here before you do anything and say you want to get rid of the index dat file save passwords once you check them it'll save them there so you can actually go through here one time and spend a little time figuring out what you want um, and then of course the RAM clean which I'm a big fan of because none of the other programs have that so it's nice if you don't reboot your machine a lot like I do and it'll clean the memory while it's in here so you click it as you can see it's very very fast for the most part as fast as it takes me to tell you that sentence loves to close on me right after that but that's okay so we're all scanned and clean and the memory's been refreshed but now if that's all you want to do is clean your drive you're out close her out call it a day but this goes much further in depth. You have the system information. This is a great tool for text because you're going to clean your drive. You have a system information so you can figure out what's in there. Everything from the Windows key to the processor to the video card to everything that's on board. You can also export it. Now you can take it, save it as an HTML file, or have somebody send it to you if you're working on their machine. You have the uninstaller. Once again, whether you're a tech or a home user, you can go through and look for toolbar problems, recently installed programs which will help with malware often, large programs if you just want to free up space and see what is using all this hard drive space, you can go by small to large here or install date so that you know what you're dealing with. And your Windows update, probably don't want to mess around with that too much. So once that's closed off, you can manage your startup. Can't beat that. Clean up all the stuff that's running. Registry defrag, you've been to Major Geeks, you know, we're big, big fans of registry defragmentation. Not so much cleaning, but defragging it. You can get a little bit of a system performance boost out of it. Whether you'll notice it or not, it's a different story, but it's something we're bigger fans of. We try to tell people, registry cleaning, eh, registry defrag, yeah. So it's built in, which is nice. There's another program you don't need to download. Your internet booster, most Windows op systems are optimized now for the internet, but... Once again, if you want to get geeky with it, and the same with performance boosters, shutting down unnecessary processes and services, and gives your system some known tweaks. And once again, for techs or people who have multiple computers, all you got to do here is make a portable version. Hit generate. It'll ask you where to, uh, or it tells you where to save the file here. You can rename it. So now I've actually created a portable version. And again, I'm running in a smaller window, but as you can see, there it is right there, so I can take that now and bring it on a thumb drive anywhere I want to go. And basically that covers the majority of it, so it's up to you. Settings, uh, automatic clean, start with Windows, general settings, make it look pretty, uh, decide which browsers or registry keys to ignore if you play with that, a log file. So you can get as geeky with it or simply just come in here and you can run everything in here the way it's set by default, give it a scan, close it. You've cleaned your drive safely and securely. Use it on numerous machines. We've had millions and millions of downloads and I don't think we've had any complaints about it. And once again, one click for simple, tools to get geeky with it, settings to make sure everything's under control. And that's the whole program right there. In a nutshell, easy to use, totally free, no pups involved, nothing. Give it a shot. The link will be in the description. And we thank you so much for watching, as always, and we will see you next time.